Players irons, distance players irons, and game improvement irons. What have been the top three performing and selling irons in the last five years? You're about to find out. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Danny Farrell, and we're both club fitters at the Second Swing Minnetonka store. Today we're going to be discussing uh, what clubs have really been performing well over the last five years. Sure, sure. Yeah, so we've got three different categories. We've mm -hmm. got your players' irons, your distance players' irons, yep. and your game improvement irons. Right. So we have selected what's been performing well, not only in fittings, mm -hmm. but also in, in sales as well. And right volume whatever clubs have been coming in and out of the store a lot and we'll be selling new and used. Right. Um, so let's kind of get to it. So okay. we've selected three different irons. I'm going to kind of rattle them off here and we'll talk about why we've selected him before we hit some shots with him. Sure. So first, uh, with the player's irons, one thing we've noticed, the Titleist T100, been pretty good. Yeah. They, they look good, they feel good. The, uh, the previous generation model, aiming in this gen ge generation model as well, is exceptionally good. Yeah. And even going back to AP2 line. Right. AP, AP2 line was also very good. Mm -hmm. We've seen some subtle differences in, in look and feel, but sure. they're great looking traditional iron. Yeah, I mean, they're the most trusted on the PGA Tour as well, the T100. So, you know, seeing them from year to year to year, talk to me about, what, about what's kind of changed with that, especially in the players line. Yeah, I mean, in the, in the players iron, I mean, you, if you grab, say, the, the AP2, Mm -hmm. And then you grab the, the T100, and then you grab the sorry, the T100 last generation, and then the 2021 T100. Yeah. It's really look. I mean, it's just got a little bit more compact over, over time. Sure. I'm holding the AP2, mm -hmm. and then I'm also holding the T100. And I'm just kind of looking how it's just all being kind of refined. It just looks a little smaller. Yep. It's a little bit sleeker overall, a little bit thinner top line. They've just kind of slimmed it down a little bit more. And right. I feel like... The 2021 T100, it almost looks like a blade. Right. Yeah, it definitely does. And you talked about slimming it down. What's interesting is there's actually more tungsten weight in there too. So it got smaller but heavier. Right. To help players get it up and spin it a little bit more too. Yeah, and that's the other thing too. We're talking about this particular line. This is generally a higher spinning iron. True. I yep. mean, when I remember when I first started as a fitter, I would always be like, you got to fit AP2s if you want more spin. <laughs> that was my go-to as well. Uh, that was my yeah. go-to. And yep. then uh, once we kind of lost the uh, the AP2s, it was like, you got to fit I210s <laughs> if you want some more spin. Kind of <laughs> right. So there's some go-tos out there for sure. Yeah. It's been my go-to with regards to player's iron for a mm -hmm. golfer that needs more spin. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay, moving on. Kay. So we'll hit, we'll hit some shots with that today and talk about the differences in look and feel. Okay. Moving on. Player's distance iron. I feel like this one's kind of a given, really. <laughs> Taylor May P790. Yeah. 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 The last three generations, you go back 2017, 2019, and 2021. Mm -hmm. Anytime I do a test with them, they're explosive. They yeah. go straight, far. Mm -hmm. It's and they look good. So a absolutely, it's for that player that wants some height, but you know struggles into the wind with spin. It's been absolutely one of my go-tos as well. We talked about players that needed spin with the T100 line, AP2 line, uh, players that need to take spin off. Now we're going to the 790. Right. Completely yeah. different player profile. Yeah, so it's, it's got speed foam. Um, it's got the through speed pocket as well. Yep. And that's going to generate more distance, um, especially in the longer irons. Yeah, big and time. And it's going to really help those golfers get the ball, get that more distance that they need out of those particular clubs. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it still looks good. Still kind of like a player's club. It's obviously called a player's distance iron for that reason. Yeah. But um, there's been some slight little changes in look with these, you will notice. 2019 version um, is a lot shinier, yep. more of a chrome look. 2021 version, satin look all the way around. Right. And yep. then I'd say the club heads are very, very similar looking down at the two of them. Mm -hmm. um, really has a sleek down or anything like that, but it's just a different look and yeah. they just perform well. Absolutely, they do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So for those golfers that like to hit the ball far yeah. and uh, need to lower that spin, like you said, yep. that's been a winner for us in the, in the fitting bay. Yeah, a little bit more forgiving too, right? Step one, the blade. Step two, going into the 790. Now we're going to deliver kind of that step three, max forgiveness with the ping line. Right. Yeah, I mean, ping G line. I mean, it, yeah. Incredible. It's, it's incredible. It's they kill it in fittings for those game improvement iron category. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the unique thing with with Ping is you know they they change their numbers around. Mm -hmm. So G G four hundred G four ten. Right. 
G425. Yep. That's why I say the G-Line. G-Line has just been, it's just so good. Yeah, it's, it's designed for a player. You know, you can take a look at the sole designs in the club head as well. A lot more kind of heel to toe le lengthwise with that as well. Gives the player more confidence, more width to actually hit the ball up in the air too. So Ping is my go-to for players that want that max forgiveness, but also, you know, want a little bit uh, higher ball flight as well. Right, yeah, and it, they don't exactly, yeah, there's a little bit of loft jacking in some of those game improvement irons. Yeah. They don't really do it so much with this. Yes, it's yeah. a little bit stronger than, say, the other irons, but it's not really noticeable. Right, kind of like the tailor-made line, especially this year, Sim 2 going sub 30 or less than 30 degrees on a 7 iron. Ping doesn't do that. They have a little bit more <laughs> loft to help get it up in the air. I think that's why it's one of our go-tos at second swing. Right. Loft is your friend a lot of the time. So as you don't have the club speed, you still need that loft to get the ball in the air. Yeah. You know, the yeah. spin, you need the spin to get the ball in the air too. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna hit some shots with these today. We're gonna, we'll, we'll hit the, the latest model. We'll hit the T100, we'll hit the P790, and then the Ping G425. Okay. We'll talk about the differences is why golfers fit into this particular category. Sure what they look like, what they feel like. Yeah. Let's do some shots. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna be kind of leading out with the new generation of the T100. We talked a little bit about club design from generation to generation, but let's see how Titus delivers in their, in their new combination. Sounds good. Okay, so Danny, I just hit five shots with the T100 line. Let's talk yeah. about the numbers, but also let's talk about who really fits into these irons. Sure, sure. You know, looking at track, man, we have the benefit to look at spin, flight, all that characteristics of things like that. But you know, we talked earlier about our go-tos for players that need spin. Now, traditionally, the T100 is lofted at 34 degrees, something with more loft than more traditional or the 790s or even the ping line as well. So really, it's designed for a player that needs a little bit of spin, hits more in the middle of the club face and likes a more players kind of look to it. Likes more of that butter knife when they look down at it as opposed to you know, a big or chunky club head like some of the game improvement stuff. So I, I really like the T100 for a lot of players. It's sneaky because there's more forgiveness in it than what you think. Right. And I mean, looking down at it, it just it looks like it almost looks like borderline blade. Right. But yeah, like you said, mentioned there's some hidden stuff kind of in there. You talk about the tungsten essentially yeah. making the head make it a little bit heavier. Yep. Um, that's going to make the ball spin a little bit more. Absolutely, yep. it does. And yep. you know, TrackMan is saying the same thing with numbers. Let's dive in a little bit. I mean, our club speed robotic. Okay. Very, very consistent yeah. there. Yep. Right. Output well done. Right. Okay. And it's not like a crazy amount of, of ball speed no. out of the club speed I'm getting. We're going to see it when we hit these other two clubs. Yeah. We'll see that ball speed jump, jump up. And that's yeah. loft. Absolutely. And all that is, is loft. Yep. Uh, same thing, you're going to see the spin. So yeah. I would expect the spin to drop a little bit with all those. Because you talked about T100 is for a player that, that needs spin. Mm -hmm. For a player that likes to work the ball yep. either direction. Absolutely. Uh, likes, you know, a forged feel yeah. as well as the other piece that you really yeah, get. You with brought this. up that it felt really soft. Yeah. Right? That's kind of that forged feel that you're looking for. And you know, looking at numbers, very, very consistent. I mean, even the, the one time that you missed, right, 1.38 on the efficiency, we only missed by three, four yards in carry. And it also delivered you know, very similar on the direction as well. Yeah. So like I said, very sneaky with the forgiveness of that. Yeah, 174 on my two miss hits. The other ones were carrying 177 to 178. Yeah. My numbers were at 178. So right. <laughs> the nice thing is you're not going to get a flyer or a jumper yeah. with as much with this particular model. That's and a huge piece of that. I mean, loft is always your friend. We preach that a lot, right? But you brought up the flyers. When we start going into the 790s, the players distance club, the game improvement stuff, that's where it really kind of takes off or that flyer potential raises because you have less loft behind right. it. Right, and that's for those golfers that they're, I'm sorry. And that's for those golfers that have a lot of club speed. Yeah. They've got the potential to hit it, to miss hit it, and then hit it really good. And right. then you'll see a large, large range in, in distance. So right. even if you are maybe considered a, into like a game from an iron, but if you have 90 miles an hour club speed with a seven iron, I am a little hesitant at times to fit someone into it because right. you're going to see a wide dispersion pattern. Absolutely. As yeah. spin drops, you know, dispersion can open up just like driver fitting too, right? Yep. So, all right. Okay. Let's uh, go into the 790. Sounds see good. See what shakes out. 
Yeah, so as, I'm, uh, as I grab this club here, I'm just looking down at the transition in the head size. Yeah. Um, so what I, what I notice comparing them is I see a little more offset with the P790. Okay. T100 is pretty minimal, which, yeah. I, which I do like. I'm yep. seeing the, the top line getting a little bit thicker in millimeters okay. on, on the top here. Okay. Then with the T100, just a little bit, little bit larger here. And then sole width is a little bit, little bit larger, mm -hmm. and then heel to toe, it just gets just a little bit larger there too. Okay, and that's kind of to be expected in the transition from a smaller head to a little larger head. Right, and I, th I think some players, you know, you brought up a great point. It looks a little bit bigger. That's why we do combo sets as well, with us for players right. that want a little bit more forgiveness on the top end of the bag, but want to score more with the blade on the bottom side. So I like that transition. Let's see what the 790 delivers. All right. Talk to me about that, you know, changing from more of the blade to the player's distance iron. Talk to me more about the feel with that. How uh, yeah, it? this definitely feels a little bit firmer. Kay. It just feels juiced up. I even just feel off the club face. I know the ball's only flying 12 feet into the screen, right. but I can just feel the momentum coming off the club face and just know it's going a little further. Yeah, that's loft, right? And we can, we can hear it back here as well. Completely different sound. You know, some players call it a little bit clicky almost, but, you know, numbers wise, it delivered exactly what we thought it would, more distance. Right. right? So yeah, so let's take out. those numbers. I did my best to get the club speed on average there, 88.3, so 88.4. Right. Close. Very yeah. close there. But, uh, yeah, exactly what you'd expect, more ball speed mm -hmm. with less, less loft on the golf club. Yep. Uh, and then a higher efficiency because you're swinging the same speed, but right. you're getting more ball speed. Yep. Uh, and then lower launch angle. Big time lower launch. Because there's less yeah. loft on the club. Yep. Uh, and then big time, less spin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're now carrying it, you know, past what the other one was rolling out to. Right. But again, that opens up the door to that flyer potential. If that ball is sitting up in the rough and you hit that, here comes 205 in the air. Right. right? So. Yeah, I mean, you look at, the, look at the height. It's interesting that uh, I had a higher carry distance by 15 yards, but the ball flew 10 feet lower. Right. Yeah. Yep. So spin is your friend. Absolutely. Especially if you don't spin the ball enough. And I don't spin the ball. Ed. Same. I would love to spin the ball just a little bit more. And yeah. that's Same why here. I couldn't play a distance. <laughs> Even though if, if my dispersion is good, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, that, that potential for that flyer yeah. it's definitely s is scary. Big time. Yeah. Big time. And I think we'll see that more when we slide into uh, the Peng G line. So that's coming up next. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Otherwise, it, it felt good. I don't know what else to say about P790 other than it, it does so well for in the, in the fitting bay. Yeah. It delivers, with, you know, whether it's the new model, whether it's the 2019 or 2017 model, if you can find them used, yeah. they are, they're great. Yeah, pick yeah. them up now if you can. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thomas. So now we're going to go into something completely different for you. Visually, talk to me there. How is that? Um, it's <laughs> large. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just doing the transition from T100 to... P790, to say, it, to say it nicely, is just a larger club head. Yeah. Just all round. Sole yeah. is a little bit larger. Yeah. Top line's a little bit thicker. A little bit, little bit larger yet. Yeah. I know I'm going to have a lower center of gravity because the club head's a little bit bigger, yeah. but I also have a higher MOI yeah. with regards to catch the ball here, catch the ball here, here, here. You're going to get away with a little bit more. Yeah. And in terms of loft, this kind of sits right between, right? So I know it's T100 at 34. Uh, Taylor made, I believe. They're 30 and a half. 30 and a half. So I think this is about 30. 30, yeah. 30 or 31. Yeah, so it's very similar to that. So let's take a look at ball flight. And the other thing, too, with, with that I love about the pain, and you can do this with any iron, but you've got your retro spec and mm -hmm. you've got your power spec. So Correct. depending on how the golfer delivers yeah. and of what distance they're trying to, turn, to gain, yeah. you can order the club's retro or power spec. The loft's going to be two degrees weaker or two degrees stronger, yeah. pretty close to that. Yep. Um, and it's just a great option there too. Absolutely, that's what I do myself. I, I need spin just like you, so I'm retrospect, you know, in a different manufacturer, but I add two degrees of loft for each club. That's retrospect. Power is the opposite way. We want more distance, so we're tuning that down, giving you more horsepower too. So let's see what Ping has to deliver here. All right.
So we just hit five with Peng. Visually, we talked a little bit about that. Talk to me about feel. How was it? Yeah, I mean, it's cast. It, yep. It's not forged. I definitely kind of noticed that. But okay. however, it, it's not like, it doesn't feel like a rock off the face. Right. I mean, you, if you're playing a softer golf ball, it's going to feel OK. It's, yeah. it's definitely, you know. Okay. You obviously, you pay less for this because it's, it's not forged. Correct. As well, that's a, that's a nice piece with, with these here, too. But they yeah. felt good. I, not going to lie, I was very surprised on the spin. Same. Just kind of comparing it to like P790, knowing that the lofts, they're yeah. off by half a degree, so they're right. basically the same club. Yep. But we actually noticed we had just a little bit more spin there with the uh, G425. Yeah. I mean, ball speed was very consistent. Your club speed is very consistent there. Kind of ball speed was great, efficient. Launch up a little bit higher, okay? And also, like you brought up, spun a little bit more. But I think that has a lot to do with the center of gravity in the club head. With ping being so much lower, you know, it's gonna help with the launch and it might help a little bit with the spin that we saw as well. Right. So I think that's all center of gravity or MOI in the club head. It, it's interesting looking at the height. They're all separated by about five, five feet between the- Right, between 105, them, yeah. 110, 115. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like I put my best swings on the G425. Okay. And then you pulled this screen up. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, There's forgiveness. I didn't feel like, I honestly, there was a, because you noticed my efficiency was a little bit lower. A little bit lower, yeah. So I was, I was like, maybe they weren't my best swings. But yeah. then I look at this screen, and I'm like, well, that kind of tells me otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yeah, plus or minus numbers are, are, are good. Uh, I mean, you can see my attack angle. It is down one degree lower, yep. so that could generate a little bit more spin. Correct. Um, Correct. But I might have expected less spin with this, is what I'm saying. Right. Even if my attack angle was also negative 1.6 or 1.5, right. I still think this is going to spin just a little bit more. Than I think so too, and I think one number to help prove that is that dynamic loft, right? How much you show at impact. So obviously with more loft in the club head, the T100, we're going to show more. So we yep. showed 24 at impact. Um, Taylor made P790, you know, loft wise at 30 and a half. Yep. We took 10 degrees off of it. So that's why I probably launched a little bit lower, spun a little bit lower. But then we showed almost a degree and a half more loft to it. Right. That's probably why launch came up, spin came up. But again, I think that's got a lot to do with the center of gravity in the club head. Yeah. I'll say that they weren't my best swings mm -hmm. uh, and I got away with it. That's what yeah, I can absolutely. say about a game improvement iron. Yeah. I didn't match up my dynamic loft or my attack angle perfectly for this test. Sure. I mean, but what we're seeing here is forgiveness. Absolutely. And that's what you're going to get out of the G425s. Yeah, and that's why we trust it 100% in a lot of our fittings because it fits a wide range of players. You brought up the point, it wasn't my best swing. If you not, don't put your best swing on a T100, you're going to feel that. You're going to lose it. But with 4, 425 or anything from the ping line, let's step on the gas and get more out there for sure. Right, and then the same thing with, with these is, yes, it's great to fit them in new G425, yep. but if you can find older generations, you got your G410, your yeah. G400, your Ping Gs, yes. even going back to G25, G20, I mean, you can get go they back deliver. in generations. Yeah. Um, they are really good for giving. Mm -hmm. The loft is not jacked. Right. There's right. Game of Fruit Irons out there where the loft is 26, 27 right. degrees. And that, right. can, that concerns me with, with flyers. 100%. And this is a golfer that just really needs a lot less spin. Right. Um, that wor worries me a little bit. And that's why I like these in Game of category. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I think this was you know, a great showcase of what different models do from generation to generation. And also delivered kind of what we expected results wise with it too. So, Thomas, thanks for kind of joining us and taking some swings today. Guys, if you like what you saw, smash that like button, send a comment on what irons you fit into, and then let's see you next time.